Kaipri. The championship crown goes to Arsenal. The word legend is a word used an awful lot in football for over many different players who have played the game. But for Tony Adams, the word legend doesn't do the man justice. He is a legend of Arsenal Football Club. Tony Adams was born in Romford, a small town in Essex. However, he was brought up in Dagenham, which is just on the outskirts of London. Tony Adams made his debut for Arsenal just four weeks after his 17th birthday. He became a regular in the 85-86 season. First big trophy came in 1987 in the Football League Cup final win over Liverpool at Wembley Stadium. The winning goal was scored by Charlie Nicholas and it was a big, big moment for Tony Adams as that was his first trophy as Arsenal captain and it also ended a nine-year trophy drought for the Gunners. Well, it was a really important win for Arsenal's first as captain of the Arsenal team. You know, it was really good to get that experience early on in his career. And it also ended the trophy drought for Arsenal, so it's a really key game. Considered one of the greatest moments in Adams' long Arsenal career, Arsenal needed two goals to win the league championship. The first goal was scored by another Arsenal legend, Alan Smith. Arsenal will have to wait now 38 minutes for that big moment. Kevin Richards, the most important ball back to John Lukic. John Lukic threw the ball out. The ball eventually got to Smith. He lumped the ball forward to the Liverpool penalty area. The ball ricocheted off two Liverpool defenders and it fell to Michael Torres went into the Liverpool box and he slid it home. The whistle went, Arsenal had done it. Tony Adams proudly held aloft the league championship trophy for the first time in his career as captain and for the first time in 19 long years for the Gunners. That was a really good Liverpool side during that game and um, we, hadn't won the, we hadn't won the league in 19 years at that point and some people say that we've done really well that season because of Tony Adams' leadership so he was a really good captain. A year after winning the title in 1989, Liverpool would go on to reclaim the league title the very next season. However, a year later Arsenal would then do the exact same. They would reclaim the league title. Liverpool lost to Nottingham Forest, which meant Arsenal had won the league title as Liverpool could no longer mathematically catch the Gunners. The game against Manchester United was a celebration game. Arsenal would go on to lift the league title at the end of that current game. Smith got a hat-trick and scored the penalty to make it 3-0. Steve Bruce managed to get a consolation for Manchester United after a penalty was awarded for a foul inside the Arsenal penalty area. After being put in prison for drink driving, to come back out and to win the league title for Arsenal, took a lot of bottle and it showed the character of the night. Tony Adamson raises the Barclays League trophy. To win it in front of our own supporters, you know, and to go out there and uh, do a good performance tonight. Uh, all those were buzzing beforehand and, uh, you know, we were just pleased to win it, but, you know, in front of our supporters. The trophy is to win and we've just won one of them, so everyone, you can, have, you can hear them in there, they're absolutely delighted, every one of them. That was a really important win for Arsenal, even though they had two points deducted for fighting. Also, Tony Adams got sent to prison for drink driving, but he came back and just got on with it, showed his character, and it was really good, it was, it was solid. The next big moment in Tony Adams' career would be the FA Cup semi-final win over Tottenham Hotspur. It was extra time and Arsenal had a free kick. The ball was lumped into the box. The ball found its way to Tony Adams and he headed the ball into the back of the net. That sent Arsenal into the FA Cup final from 1993. Another big game 
game for Arsenal because previously we'd lost 3-1 to Tottenham at the same stage. So to get revenge was really good and obviously for Tony to get a winning goal is an excellent achievement. In those days, the FA Cup final wasn't just settled after one game. If the game was a draw after extra time, there would be a second game. Arsenal took the lead in the second game via an Ian Wright goal in the 34th minute. Then in the 68th minute, Chris Waddle tried for Sheffield Wednesday equalised and the game was level as it went into extra time. Then Arsenal in the 119th minute scored through Andy Lingham and they won the final 2-1. The very next season Arsenal flashed Parliament in the Cup Winners Cup final. Carl with a massive favour as Arsenal took a squad lead in the first half before the Batman Smith goal. Alan Smith, a super strike for the Gunners! And very heavily punished indeed! Palmer had a few chances, not much better than this chance. Ian Frank Rosano had got a free kick just on the top of the net. The whistle went and Arsenal had won their first European trophy for many years. It was a symbolic moment for Tony Anton, his first European silver in Arsenal Captain. Done some great football, Palmer, but they've met some resolute defence by Arsenal, and you cannot give too much credit to men like Steve Bold, to men like Tony Adams. Well, that's the moment. Tony Adams lifts the trophy. After the highs of winning the Cup Winners' Cup final in 1994, Arsenal would then go on to be trophyless for the next four years, which also coincided with the departure of one of Arsenal's greatest managers, George Graham. In October 1996, his career at Arsenal Football Club changed forever with the incoming of Arsene Wenger, who would go on to be one of Arsenal's greatest managers won the league and FA Cup double with a victory over Newcastle United. However, the crowning moment for Arsene Wenger was to win the league title in his first full season as Arsenal manager. It was Arsenal's first ever Premier League title. Wenger, the current chief coach, he's changed the style of English football like, and at Arsenal through diets and how they spend their time. That because he wanted Arsenal to thrive in the league, whereas under Bruce Riot, he, he struggled where he didn't have a lot of respect for the badge. After the title win in 1998, Arsenal would go on to finish runners-up for the next two seasons as Manchester United would begin to establish their dominance on English football. However, in 2002, Arsenal again became league champions but they also again won the FA Cup. The FA Cup final was played before the final league game of the season. Arsenal would win the game 2 0 with a goal, Ray Parlett in the 70th minute and then finally Lundberg after a mistake from the Chelsea defence managed to curl a beauty into the top corner to make it 2-0, which meant no way back for Chelsea. Arsenal have the FA Cup in the bag. One half of the double is secure. Two goals in the last 20 minutes. Both of them screamers. Again, Tony Adams was another main reason why Arsenal won the trophy. His leadership skills were demonstrated on the pitch, and you can see his in the Arsenal players. Due to injury, Tony Adams was only able to play 15 league games that season. However, his crowning moment as an Arsenal player was to lift the Premier League trophy for the second time in Arsenal's history. This was his final game as an Arsenal player and he was able to show yet again that Arsenal were the kings of England. Throughout this documentary, you have seen a career full of amazing moments. What he's shown is the character and the determination to keep going and to go on to have one of the greatest careers. He is the, one of the sole reasons why Arsenal was successful. He will forever be remembered as Mr. Arsenal.